What is going on guys? Gray for today. I'd like to talk about how a lot of people in the Elder Scrolls Online community feel like Zoss is not really listening to the community as a whole and that if all the changes with Update 35 kind of go through and nothing else, you know, really is updated within the public test server that a lot of people are not going to be playing uh, this update. Now I will say that has always been a thing in the Elder Scrolls Online. There's always been a lot of updates that people don't like. People might take a break during that particular update and then come back later down the road. Uh, there's also been times where people get to get burnout. And this, of course, I understand that Update 35 has upset a lot of people. They don't like a lot of the changes. Some of them I don't technically agree with, but it's always been like this in ESO. Uh, whether you like it or not, it's just one of those things where, I, I, in my mind, it's like I said, it's always been like this. So you kind of just have to learn to adapt to the way they want you to kind of play the game at that time. And like I said, I don't, I don't necessarily agree with all the changes, but at the same time, I wish it wasn't really like this, but it's just kind of how it is. And there's been so many different polls on the forums and, and on Reddit and on Twitter talking about, you know, will update 35 affect the time that you spend in the game? And of course, a lot of people have been saying, yes, they'll spend a whole lot less time in ESO than they used to. There's also been uh, some different posts talking about, you know, is Zoss really listening to the customers or are the customers, uh, you know, uh, us as the community, us as players? Does Zoss really value our feedback? And of course, a lot of people have been talking about, you know, all these different answers. You know, of course, most answers to both of these questions that I just said, of course, you know, most everyone's been saying, no, Zoss does not, you know, uh, listen to our feedback as players. And a lot of people are saying, no, they're not going to play the game as much anymore when update 35 comes out. Now, when it comes to things like this, I think a lot of people read it and think, oh, nobody's going to be playing the game. And that's not necessarily the case. First of all, a lot of these polls that are taken, uh, you know, within the forums or on Twitter is a very small sample size of everyone that plays the game. Second, as it has been in past years, when updates come out, the players don't like, you know, the first few weeks, some players may just be kind of upset with, you know, the update and decide not to play for a little bit, but they eventually come back later within that update. Or they're kind of like myself, you know, they just don't really agree with it. You know, they, they may just go in and play and kind of figure out how to how to play at that particular time. And yes, you may not play as much, but there has been a lot of good answers in some of these forums saying, well, I'm going to have to wait and see. And that, that's kind of how I am. I'm going to have to wait and see because I play on console. And of course, I don't have access to the public test server. So I'm going to have to see firsthand how update 35, uh, you know, acts on the live server on PS5. Also, if I don't enjoy it, I, I've taken breaks from this game in the past. You know, I might take a break, you know, for, you know, an update, you know, a month, whatever the case may be. Uh, even if you don't decide to take a break, there's a lot of other things you can do in game. If you're not just a in-game PVE and PVP player. Now, I understand if you're in-game PVE and PVP, why you could be upset with a lot of these changes. But for a lot of people just getting on and, you know, maybe doing some auctions with their, you know, friends in their guild or getting on and just doing their daily writs is enough to keep them coming back to the game every day, but maybe not necessarily playing as much as they would with some other content within the game. And that is what a lot of people will do as well. And there's a lot of people out there that'll just, just you know, log in, do their, uh, you know, daily writs, maybe log in, do some things with some friends. Maybe they won't be participating in uh, in-game PVP and PVE activities as much. And that's, it's kind of sad in one way because, you know, it's getting people away from doing those in-game activities. But at the same time, those players are still going to be logging in and playing every day. I'm just going to have to wait and see how Update 35 really acts, like I said, on the PlayStation 5. And of course, you know how it acts for all of you out there on Xbox or old-gen consoles. Um, I do think that Zoss at times over the last year has been better at listening to the community. I think a lot of people in the community right now are upset because of the changes with update 35. So they're saying Zoss doesn't listen at all. Now, am I saying Zoss couldn't do a better job at communicating and listening to the community? Definitely not. I'm not saying that at all. I think they definitely can do a better job. But overall right now, I think a lot of people are just really upset with, you know, the whole idea of update 35. So you know, that's why you hear all these players talking about, you know, playtime and, and, you know, Zoss not really listening and how they're going to quit. And that's always happening. So if you're a new player and you're hearing these things, I don't know if I would worry too much just yet. We'll have to wait and see. I could be completely wrong and everybody could stop playing the game. I just don't think that's going to happen right now. Um, but I do think Zoss could do better at communicating just in general. 
And I do think if you feel like update 35 really does, you know, you're, you're not happy with it. Take a small break. That's what I always do. I mean, I'm not a person that plays the same game all the time permanently. I've not played only ESO since it's been out on console for the last seven years. I play other stuff as well. And that's kind of how I, you know, get away from, you know, being unhappy with some changes maybe the Elder Scrolls makes. Is I go play some other stuff. And I know not everybody may have time to do that or, you know, may not have, you know, the money to buy their games. But if you do have a chance to go play some other things or do something else just in general in life, it may be a good time to get away from ESO for a while for a few people out there because these changes aren't great. I don't really love them. And I do think Zos can do a better job at uh, communicating with us, but we'll have to kind of wait and see what happens when Update 35 goes live. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.